There are different types of seizures and they look differently depending on if you catch it in the beginning, the middle, or the end. The most common seizure starts from one particular area of the brain. In the normal human brain that doesn't have a seizure where the nerve cells fire off um, separately. In a seizure, they'll go off at the same time and it's abnormal electrical activity. At the beginning, some people may have a warning. Patients like to call it an aura. It can be a strange taste, a strange smell, a sense of being nauseated or a sense of anxiety and a fluttering feeling. And that warning or aura is itself a seizure. Seizures can present differently, their appearance depending on which portion of the brain they start from, um, either the front of the head, the middle of the head, or the back of the head, and whether it starts on the right or the left side. The most common area, however, is what we call the temporal lobe. If seizures start in those areas, uh, memory can be affected, and occasionally seizures can come from the back of the head called the occipital regions. People can hallucinate and they can also have a problem with thinking clearly. If it occurs in areas called the frontal lobes where motor or movement is located, you may have shaking movements of one arm or one leg or convulsion where there's violent movements of the hands and the feet. And that's um, the most severe form of seizure. The blood pressure goes up, the heart rate may go up. Um, at that time, also people may lose control of their bladder, they may also bite the inside of their mouth or tongue because of the movements of the jaw, which are violent as well. Those seizures are more difficult to recover from. Their body may hurt from the violent movements for up to 30 minutes. It's hard to predict what seizure type an individual might have, and there's no way of finding out one way or another, which also makes it very lifestyle impairing for patients too.